John and Ruth. I came up to a community in Prosper called Star Trail to um, walk this Highland floor plan, just to give you an idea. This is the same floor plan as the one that we walked in Barrington Atlantana that is Highland's last inventory home that they have to sell. Um, but it's the flipped version. So everything in this is flipped the other way. So this is the one where the gentleman was sleeping in the room that was under construction. But I want to show you one finished. This house was built for somebody and is closing tomorrow. So today was the last day that I could get inside of it. So this is your entryway. It has tall ceilings, archways there, looking straight back. You've got the fireplace there. Um, again, this one is flipped, so everything's opposite. But here you have a bathroom. You have a light for us so we can see. So bathroom here, and then you have two bedrooms. So this one bedroom here, and there are some cleaners here in the house. So um, if you see, well, I mean, you probably saw the first picture. There was mops and different things, but this bedroom has a walk-in closet, nice tall ceilings. I'm pretty sure the standard features, so the ceiling heights and all of that would be consistent. Um, and this is the other bedroom here. and it has a walk-in closet. So two bedrooms at the front with a bathroom between. Come back out to your entryway. So here's your front door, right? And then looking back this way, if I continue forward and I go this direction, you've got the utility room here. That's your entrance from the garage, right? You've got a powder bathroom here and then a media room over here, and this is really dark, I need to get a light for me. All right, media room, space, over here. This is where the guy was sleeping in the corner, right? But it was, again, flipped, so it was on the other side of the house. But you've got a media room space, and then let me go continue further back and show you the kitchen. Oh, sorry. And then here in the entry, you do have a hall closet, so I know storage is important, so just kind of keeping in mind where things are. So then back here, We've got, this is the dining room space. And do you remember on this one we talked about um, this being the study space and how you could do um, like a sliding, like a farm door on this if you wanted to, something that doesn't have a swing. Well, both those doors open in. So you can see if you had a dining table here, it would actually be fine. So this is the kitchen. She's cleaning the lights. And see those lights, Ruth, those hang at the right height. Remember that when we looked at the lights were super, super short? Those ones hang at the right height. So this is your kitchen space. Pantry is in the corner. This one, the cabinets go all the way down the wall. And this is your family room here. Tall ceilings, and then let me go show you the master bedroom. So heading this way. Again, there's another closet over here. This is your master bedroom. Just super long, very big space, big, huge space. You could easily put a bed, um, nightside tables, and then you could put like a couple of chairs over there. It's a very large space. And then this is the master bathroom. So you've got tub here when you first walk in. Shower right here. You've got two sinks, one there. Second sink here, and it does have the knee space below. And then you come back here. This is where the toilet is. So toilet's behind a door right there. And then this is the closet. So nice walk-in closet, nice and spacious. Plenty of height in here. They didn't add a third bar up there, but if you wanted an extra one for more hanging space, you absolutely could just need one of those rods. I know several of the American Legend homes we looked at had um, that third rod up there, but um, good space. So either way, could add it later even if you wanted to it wouldn't be a big deal okay let me go show you kind of what the back patio on this one looks like you can see the cleaners are in here working hard because it closes tomorrow okay so out here you come out this way tall ceilings on your back patio your back patio is centered um, on the house so if you're sitting here on your back patio it feels very private um, so hopefully seeing this one complete 
would give you a good idea of what that one in the Lantana neighborhood would be like. And if you remember, that one um, had the iron fence that back to the walking trail. So, um, just to kind of remember the lot. But that is their last opportunity for something that's complete. And I believe they're quoting a July um, close date on that. So, I hope that's helpful.